everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video this morning. I hope you're doing great and we're going to be taking a look at both of these areas. We've got Philippe and also that new area which is highlighted off the African coast. Now currently there are two tropical waves out there. Those two aren't marked for development but one is approaching the Caribbean with some increased rainfall activity today and that could help to induce some isolated instances of flooding for some areas areas and so let's get straight into it moving on to the satellite imagery and there we can see that there's a lot of activity out there so we've got those two tropical waves there you can see some activity some showers thunderstorms already moving into parts of the windward islands and uh, there's another one which is out there there we see all that activity to the southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands and then uh, there we have the leap up there so let's zoom into the Caribbean so here we are taking a closer look at uh, sections of the eastern part of the basin and northeastern South America. So there you can see all that activity, some of those thunderstorms impact in St. Lucia and uh, even near Martinique as well. And earlier there was some activity in Dominica as well as Guadeloupe. So we can see that things are not just clearing up completely for the islands after the passage of Philippe, but there is some more activity moving through, even down to Trinidad and Tobago as well. So as we head through today, there's likely to be some periods of very heavy rainfall, as I said. Some flooding will be possible across some areas as a result of all this activity moving in. And the axis of the tropical wave, let's go on to this surface chart here very quickly. So the axis of that tropical wave, uh, as of the zero Z update, is actually further west now maybe approaching Guyana but uh, that was the position of it over parts of Suriname as of the zero Z update and then there's that next one out there in the main development region which is also propagating westward now let's go back to the satellite imagery and take a look at the Caribbean on a whole so there we can see that it remains qu uh, quite messy over in the east conditions improving over in the west especially the northwestern part of the basin not seen much happening this morning a couple of showers and thunderstorms near uh, Little Cayman and Cayman Brac and even across some spots in Central America going down to northern and south South America and uh, even for the Turks and Caicos Islands and sections of the Bahamas, Hispaniola, but we can see that all that activity is clearing up and even for Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands as well. So uh, there was all that activity out there. There we have Philippe and there's still all that moisture feeding into these storms. So there could be some more uh, cases of some additional rainfall across sections of the Northeastern Islands, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and even the Leeward Islands as well. And the ABC Islands actually recently received quite a bit of rainfall. I saw the comments from you guys in Aruba, Curacao. You can let me know what's happening there now, but there is still some activity moving through. Let's go on to the rainfall forecast from the Euro as we're going to be heading through today into the very early morning hours of tomorrow. And as we see more of the shades of oranges and reds, even to that burgundy and those purples, the rainfall amounts are increasing. And uh, there you can see that trail of all that rainfall activity expected headed to the Caribbean and we're seeing a lot of those shades of red. So over an inch of rainfall across most islands, especially to the windward islands, but there could even be some higher totals in some spots and that is what could trigger some flooding. So from Trinidad, Tobago, Barbados, even Grenada going all the way up through to around Dominica, Guadeloupe, thereabout, there could be some substantial rainfall due to this uh, tropical wave. And again, there could be some very heavy rainfall in some areas which might trigger flooding for the leeward islands not as much rainfall but uh, there could still be some heavy downpours in some spots headed to puerto rico the virgin islands again all that moisture feeding into philippe so there could be some additional rainfall and there we see those very high totals associated with the storm the good news all offshore right now because uh, we know the damage that it did in the Caribbean, especially as it relates to all that flooding. Now, as we head across the Greater Antilles, the rest of the Greater Antilles, uh, Hispaniola, headed to Jamaica, Cuba, there may be some uh, showers and thunderstorms popping up in some spots this afternoon, maybe with some heavier downpours, and also in some islands of the Bahamas, the Turks and Caicos Islands, maybe even into Florida as well, and the Cayman Islands. And then over in Central America, there could be a lot of heavy rainfall especially near the Pacific coast of the various territories. Same story as we head to Northern South America. There could be a lot of heavy rainfall as we head through today, uh, maybe for some parts of Northern Guyana and sections of Suriname as well. But for most of the Guyanas, it should be a pretty sunny and hot day today. And then, of course, uh, the ABC Islands, as we can see, some of those higher rainfall totals there as well. So as I said, hopefully some more rainfall activity, but uh, nothing major. 
Now we want to go ahead and talk about Philippe. So here we are taking a look at the storm on the infrared satellite imagery. So it remains lopsided, but it is trying to get itself together. It hasn't strengthened this morning. So let's go on to the cone forecast. We can see that the maximum sustained winds are around 40 miles per hour, and it is moving up to the north at 14 miles per hour. So it's moving up to the north a bit faster, and uh, it is going to be accelerating to the northwest at a much quicker rate as we head into the early part of the new week so that is expected but for now there is that tropical storm warning in effect for bermuda and those conditions will likely start deteriorating later today and into tonight and through tomorrow so those tropical storm conditions are rough seas even some coastal inundation thanks to the winds of the system pushing the ocean water on shore the periods of heavy rainfall which might cause flooding and even those gusty winds as well can cause maybe a bit of damage to very weak structures even some down trees and power lines as well so there's going to be that chance of that power going out so uh those are likely underway so please continue to stay safe guys but as we head into saturday philippe is expected to become a post tropical cyclone meaning that it is going to be losing its tropical cyclone characteristics and usually when this happens the wind field also expands so we see that as we head into saturday night going into sunday impacts are likely for portions of the northeastern u.s new england head into sections of atlantic canada nova scotia new brunswick because uh, this is the center here that is being tracked even though the system is going to be weakening and dissipating it is going to be increasing in size so those impacts those uh tropical storm force winds are likely to be widespread across sections of new england and atlantic canada but then eventually uh, it is expected to make its way further into eastern canada continuing to weaken as a post-tropical cyclone so uh, if you're in sections of northeastern north america you definitely want to keep watch and uh, eventually there could be some watches or warnings being issued but for now that tropical storm warning is in effect for bermuda now uh, go into this new area which is highlighted so this is not for any of the current tropical waves but a future wave which is to emerge off the african coast here we can see that there's a 30 percent chance of development and this new area was highlighted last evening so the chance has increased a bit but um even though we're seeing that this would be moving on a westward track models are eventually expecting that it will be curving up because we're going to have all these low pressure systems making their way out of the u.s all these fronts and uh, that is going to be disrupting that high pressure out there so there's not going to be that a uh, strong high pressure area so uh, with it being displaced further east and being very weak then the systems won't be pushed uh, to the west so much but they could make that curve up to the north and remain out there not being a bother for the caribbean so models have been very consistent about that and uh, if that consistency prolongs then eventually that will be reflected on the graphical outlook from the nhc so the next updates coming this morning we'll see uh what it is showing even this afternoon as well at the 2 p.m update but for now a tropical wave is to come off africa and that one could try to develop into something now let's see how strong models are showing it so let's head on to euro and this is as we head to next thursday so additionally uh if you watch my previous updates you would have seen where i spoke about that expected storm in the eastern pacific that would make its way over Mexico, we can dissipate remnants, move into the Gulf and try to develop. So Euro is definitely showing all that moisture increase. And regardless of seeing a tropical storm develop over there, if we're talking about an area of loss of moisture, there could be a lot of rainfall in store. And as we know, that can cause its problems. But there we can see that low pressure area off the African coast are eventually curving up. The Canadian model is also expecting that we might see some development of the system. Same time here as we head into Thursday day but take a look at this as it strengthens it moves up there's that weakened area of high pressure so it has the opportunity to make its way up to the north the icon model is also showing that we will see something try to form this is as we head into tuesday of next week there we have that low pressure area associated with that tropical wave and then we're definitely starting to see that turn up to the uh west northwest or northwest and then all that increase in moisture across the gulf associated with that 
future tropical cyclone over there that could bring impacts to portions of the Gulf Coast states. So there we can see, guys, models are consistent about seeing some development. They're not showing anything too strong, but uh, we want to keep an eye on it. And of course, I'm here to keep you guys posted as per usual. So that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this update. So again, Philippe will be bringing those tropical storm conditions to Bermuda beginning later today and through tomorrow. And then today is going to be making it, uh, making its way up to parts of northeastern North America, bringing those impacts. And uh, there is that new area highlighted out there for some development, 30% chance as of right now. And then uh, for the Caribbean, there's a tropical wave moving in, and that is likely to increase rainfall activity for the Lesser Antilles or most of the Lesser Antilles through today. And there may even be some cases of flooding. So please stay safe. And of course, I will continue to keep you posted. So that is pretty much it for right now. And I hope you found this video to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments. As always, I'll respond once I get the chance to do so. And remember to be weather-wise.